Greetings, history enthusiasts, and welcome back to the Lit Learn Lounge. I'm thrilled to dive into the captivating world of the history of English language and literature once again. In this second lecture, we'll uncover the incredible life of Geoffrey Chaucer and the tumultuous times that surrounded him during the Middle English period. In our first installment, we explored the evolution of the English language over time, from the Anglo-Saxon period to the emergence of Middle English. Today, we embark on a journey that revolves around the life and legacy of one of the most influential figures of his time, Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer, often heralded as the father of English poetry, lived from 1340 to 1400. A period that was nothing short of a roller coaster ride through history. Imagine, this one man's life spanned the reign of three monarchs and a whirlwind of monumental events. Geoffrey Chaucer's journey began in 1340 under the rule of Edward III. He witnessed the passing of the crown from Richard II to Henry IV, and his life intersected with pivotal moments like the Lancastrian dynasty's foundation. Chaucer wasn't just a poet, he was also a diplomat, an ambassador, and a well-traveled individual. He connected with cultures far and wide, thanks to his diplomatic missions to France and Italy. Chaucer's literary contributions, like the Canterbury Tales, revealed his unique ability to capture the essence of his time. He showcased the grandeur and disparities of Chaucer's England, a land oscillating between splendor and strife. But remember, Chaucer's England was not just about poetic brilliance. It was an era of trials and tribulations, marked by the shadow of the Black Death, peasant rebellions, and the pervasive corruption within the church. Chaucer's impact on English language and literature was nothing short of revolutionary. He championed the use of English in his works, bridging the gap between courtly languages like Latin and French and the language of the common people. As the Hundred Years' War raged on, Chaucer's life mirrored the upheaval of his era. Battles were fought, territories were claimed, and a fiery mix of politics and power dominated the landscape. Chaucer's legacy extends beyond his poems, he was laid to rest in the illustrious poet's corner of Westminster Abbey a fitting tribute to a man whose words sculpted the foundation of English literature. Chaucer's England, a tapestry woven with contrasts and conflicts, set the stage for the literary renaissance that would follow. It wasn't just an age, it was a crucible that forged the path to modernity. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Geoffrey Chaucer and the incredible tapestry of his time. Join us next time in the LitLearn Lounge as we continue our voyage through the annals of history. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep the spirit of knowledge alive.